buckle up because the all new 7th generation Ford Mustang is officially finally here. This is the world debut of the brand new pony car and in this video I'm going to show you video of both the coupe and convertible and share as much information and specs as we currently have. And this, there's a lot of excitement about this car. Why? Well, because in the news right now, there's a lot of talk about the future, electrified pickup trucks, cars, etc. But the new Mustang is returning to its roots with a big 5 liter V8, manual transmission, and a lot of technology to back it up, including, of course, the suspension and the style that comes with it. So this is really exciting, I think. Uh, so let's kick it off right there by looking at the car and looking at the style of it. It's not a revolution. It's not some a wild departure from where the Mustang has been in the past. I think they've tweaked the front end, of course, and the rear end. But I think if you look at the distance, you know, coming down the street a few blocks away, it's unmistakable. It's still the Mustang. But in the comments below, let me know what you think. Did they do enough for the exterior style of this car? Or did you wish uh, they would do something more? So in the front, uh, Ford says they're using the tri-bar LED headlamp system. And the upper grille is reminiscent of the original Mustang from the 60s. Of course, it's almost been uh, 60 years since the original Mustang came out in 64 and a half. And this brand new 7th generation car is going to be available next year in 2023 as a 2024 model. So we still have to wait a little bit for this new Mustang to arrive. So why this evolutionary style instead of a revolution? Uh, I think because it's still successful. Ford has kept the Mustang in their lineup throughout the ages and the years, and they're still pretty successful. They're selling about 3,500 Mustangs a month, uh, while other uh, manufacturers are struggling a bit to sell two-door sports cars. But... Uh, Ford is remaining true, like I said, to their traditional power. This is not an electrified Mustang. It's not a mach -E. So let's go over the power next. It's going to be available, uh, the base Mustang is going to be available with a 2.3 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder turbocharged engine. Uh, they're calling it all new. Of course, the 2.3 liter uh, turbocharged engine has been around in the Mustang and also other Ford vehicles. Uh, throughout the years, but they're upgrading it. And Ford is not ready to specify the final power numbers for the turbocharged engine. But we do know this, that currently the EcoBoost 2.3 is available with 310 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque in the Mustang. So since they're upgrading that engine, I'm assuming more power. So expect a little bit more horsepower, the torque might remain around the same, we don't know, but the torque might be available at the lower RPM. So this is still will be a quite fun vehicle to drive. And I think the signature of the turbocharged four-cylinder Mustang, at least in recent years, it's kind of, it's light on its feet. It's a little bit more lightweight than the V8 car. Um, it's a little bit easier to turn in. It's a little bit more fun to toss around, although you do not have that V8 growl and sound provided by the big V8 engine. Speaking of the V8, yes, the five liter Coyote returns for this next generation of the Mustang. And it is a big investment. Even Jim Farley said this in his comments on this car, that they're investing in an old generation of the Mustang with these powertrains and a manual transmission. They're saving the manual, which is a trend that we're seeing in the industry as far as performance vehicles are concerned. The V8, they said, is going to be the most powerful V8 engine, uh, five liter engine in a Mustang ever. Once again, no power numbers officially stated yet, but uh, let's take a look at what we know. Uh, we know that the Bullet Mustang uh, in, the, in this current generation of the Mustang had 480 horsepower and 420 pound feet of torque. So if Ford says this is going to be the most powerful ever, five liter, we're expecting a little bit more power than 480, maybe approaching 500 horses. That would be pretty sweet. It's a naturally aspirated engine. There's no turbos or superchargers attached to it. 
and take a look at the interior. First, I wanna focus on the manual transmission. There are three pedals. Yes, there's a clutch and a six-speed manual transmission in the center the way it should be attached to that V8 engine. And there's something also new, and I'm really pleased to see this, the electronic drift brake is what they call it. Basically a handbrake in the middle in the console. That's coming back because a lot of modern cars are actually going to push buttons for parking brakes, but they're calling it a drift brake. So you could also do some hooning and pretend you're uh, Von Gittin Jr. Uh, drifting this Mustang around. So we'll have to see exactly how that works when we drive the car, but I'm excited that Ford has the enthusiast in mind uh, when they're bringing this new system and this new car to market. This is really, really sweet. Of course, this car is going to be, the Mustang is going to be competing against the new Toyota Supra, the new Nissan Z. Both of those uh, cars have powerful turbocharged engines, also offer manual transmission options. So the enthusiast space here is really, really, um, I think is revitalized um, in this recent year uh, with a lot of fun technology. Uh, but this V8 car, I'm expecting it, yeah, once again, close to 500 horsepower. Let's continue with the interior because there's a lot of new stuff here. First of all, there's two digital screens surrounding the driver. Uh, once again, Ford calls it kind of a pilot cockpit type design, or at least inspiration. The, the gauge cluster is a 12.4 inch diagonal screen, and the center infotainment system is a 13.2 inch infotainment screen. Um, and it's powered by Unreal Engine 3D graphic technology, which means it's basically video game quality graphics and also active graphics. So when you're changing drive modes, or you're changing some settings on your car, you can actually swipe the screen in the center and uh, modify different settings, and it kind of reacts uh, to your swipes and to your touches with really, really smooth graphics. We'll have to see exactly how it works, how quick it is, when we actually be able to get in the car and drive it. But all the technology is there, as you can imagine, the latest infotainment system, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Alexa is going to be included or capable of all those technologies. Uh, and also the performance pack is going to be offered. Performance pack has been around already in the Mustang. It offers just a lot more track worthy performance um, goodies inside the car. For example, tower brace in the front to make the chassis a little bit stiffer, Torsen limited slip differential just to put the power down a little bit more effectively. Optional Magnaride active suspension, which adjusts and in real time, and you can adjust it as well. Wider rear tires and wheels for additional grip. Uh, Brembo performance braking system with 390 millimeters rotors in the front and 355 millimeter rotors in the rear. Recaro seats and active exhaust. So you can change the way that the exhaust sounds from quiet to all the way to sport and loud. So you can have a lot of fun with this car. So that's gonna be available as well. And also the, it has another very unique option that I haven't seen available on uh, cars yet, at least in this price range. It's called Remote Rev. So on the key fob, there'll be an option for you to start the car and also rev up the engine remotely without actually being inside the car. How cool is that? Uh, imagine you're at Cars and Coffee, you're standing next to your car or a little bit away from it, and then you power it up and rev it without actually being in it. I think it's a cool party trick. Um, I'm glad that they're adding features like this into this new Mustang, so that's pretty cool. Pricing, well, uh, we don't have that number yet because we're still a few months away from it, from it going on sale. Like I said, they're saying summer of 2023 is when the brand new Mustang will go on sale. It will be available as a coupe and convertible, as you saw, both with manual and automatic transmissions. So the 10-speed automatic is returning, of course. Um, so you have options. You don't have to have a manual if you don't want it. The turbocharged four-cylinder or the V8 are going to be available. What else will be in the future, we don't know. Is there going to be a GT350, a GT500 Shelby? We don't know. Uh, of course, those things might be still coming. Uh, also, the S650 version of it, uh, that still um, is left to be seen. 
currently the Mustang starts at 27,470 bucks for the four cylinder version. The convertible starts at 32,970 bucks currently. The GT, the V8 car is currently starting at 38,045 bucks. So I'm hoping and I'm assuming that the Mustang is still for the people. So they will still keep the prices low or as low as possible when this new car goes on sale. So expect small price increases, but hopefully they can control that a little bit and actually offer great value once again for this American pony car. Uh, by the way, it's going to be available in 11 exterior colors. A couple of new colors are vapor blue and yellow splash. So they're adding a little bit more to the color palette. And obviously we cannot wait to drive this new Mustang and actually uh, get behind the wheel and see exactly how it feels with the new technology and the latest suspension settings and the rest. As always, go back to OldTFL.com. Uh, Tommy is actually at the Detroit Auto Show bringing you all the latest there so you can see all the latest news from every manufacturer right there in one place. Thank you and I'll see you next time.